Entrepreneurs Megan, Jeff, and their daughter Grace live in a three-story house with lots of space. The first time I saw this house, I thought it was just perfect for Megan and I to raise a family in. When we first moved into this house, I thought it was perfect. We lived in it beautifully, but our life has changed so much that it's just not working for us anymore. The couple works from home 24-7, and it's gotten the best of them. My husband is convinced that we can make all the changes that we need to turn it into our dream home. It's going to cost some money, but I think it'll be a good investment. I just don't see us being able to pull it off because it is so outdated and the amount of work that would need to be done, we might as well just go get a new house. The window situation in our home is going from bad to worse and you just feel the drafts every single window you walk by. All the windows have got to be replaced in this house. We can replace windows. They make them. The kitchen is functional, but it looks so outdated. I mean, we can paint the cabinets, new appliances, get rid of this and put in maybe one that's a little bit bigger. What I'd really love is to be able to just walk into another house that has a completely modern family kitchen that's already set up and ready to go. So our master, I'd love to say master suite, but it's not. We have a master bedroom with a kind of master bathroom and then a closet that is appropriate for maybe an eight-year-old. It's tiny. There is not enough room for me to put my shoes or my clothes, and we share it. I don't need as much room as I have right now. I could just move into a new house and have a beautiful walk-in closet. But then you don't have the location. I love our backyard. I like the wooded lot. I like the nature of it. We've got this great private lot, which is important to Jeff, and I understand that, but I would love to have an outdoor space where maybe I could actually bring my computer outside for a little bit. We could actually eat outside. To make Megan stay here, I have got to get something nicer than her current situation on the back porch. The office spaces, I mean, to be blunt, they're not even meant to be office spaces. Is it an office? Is it a living room? You're not really sure. The location being downstairs is nice, but there's no doors to it. With a small child yelling, mom, mom, and not really a, an attractive entryway for people into our home. I agree with that. Um, my office is in the bonus room, so it's kind of a waste of a space for me to have that huge room, even though I love it. And there's no door on one side of it. Jeff likes to take his calls on speakerphone, and so the whole family gets to participate. Teaching you about the industry. <sighs> so I think with this house, we can just change the things that we need and uh, not have to move. But these are things I've been talking about for over six years and none of them have happened. So I just don't see it actually coming to fruition. This home has so much more potential. We've had a long haul here, but it's time for us to move on. So yeah. what is the must have list to get you out of this house? Who's gonna be giving me that? I am. All right, what is it? Open concept kitchen and living area, four bedrooms, and a master bedroom with a walk-in closet, three and a half baths, two separate offices, one for myself and one for Megan, a bonus room, a screened-in porch, and a large private lot. That privacy aspect is so important to him. Oh, listen, I get it. You've got nice privacy here. You want to continue with that. What is the budget for the new house? $725,000. And you're going to need it, because that's a lot of house. Um, yeah. Over to you. All right, so tell me what I have to do to convince you that this house can work again. I need you to create a big walk-in closet for me and a separate closet for Jeff create two private offices. I'd love a refresh on the main floor. I'd love to build a screened-in porch. I'd love to renovate the kitchen. And finally, replace all the windows and door. And why? You can actually stand in front of our windows with the breeze. Yes. You can feel it coming in. So I mean, it gets really cold. That brings me very urgently to <laughs> the budget. So I know we have a lot that we want to get done, but our budget is $180,000. Well, we've eaten up a whole chunk of that just with your windows and doors. You yes. know that. Yes. I just can't stay here without the other stuff as well. I will get windows and doors priced first, and then we'll discuss everything else you've asked for and see how we can make that happen with whatever's left. Every window in this house is going to be replaced. That's going to take a huge chunk out of the budget right off the top. Yeah, I know. We That's can look at some options. OK, so this is going to be Megan's office, and she needs privacy. So we're going to put a door there. OK. And then two doors here. Now, this is their dining room. I think this is a wonderful room because of the view. Seems like a perfect spot to have doors. So I'm thinking we could put sliders in there, and this would go all the way through to the exterior. OK, what are you going to do once you get outside? They want a screened-in porch. 
this is where it should go. It's extension of the whole house, part of entertaining so that you've got the flow from inside outside, and then bring it that way to tie in with the deck. I like it. I think that's a great spot for it. Be gorgeous. All right, now, in the kitchen, what I want to do is rip this kitchen out. This is all going to get full-on gut redo. That makes sense. This is going to be open kitchen and eating area. Loads of storage, everything you need. And then they've still got a door in the living room area that leads out onto just the deck area. OK. That little cloud light box thing doesn't even line up with their island. Oh, I can fix that. Strong. I'm impressed. All right, so we're about to go into David Byzantine's favorite part of this house because it was set up as a man cave. Great big television set there. Jeff's office was there, beanbag here, toys along this little seat place. It reminds me of the bench I used to sit on waiting for the principal. You were there a lot, were you? Yeah, maybe once or twice. Me Five too. Five times. Yeah. I'm not liking this bench. It's <laughs> bringing back mixed emotions. It's still going to be bonus room, but it's not going to be Jeff's office. I have somewhere better for Jeff's office. All right, super. So I want to talk to you about your office. Can I interrupt you? I really want to talk to you about something with the porch. Oh, well, then we'll go this way. OK, great. Really excited about the screen and porch. My one concern is the location of it. It butts right up to our neighbor's yard. I'm really worried about the lack of privacy on this side, and I'm not sure how to create a solution for that, because we don't want a wall. But does it have to be fully solid, or could it be, for instance, um, a lattice that's a tight lattice, something Just like that? Just a little bit private, so Understand. you don't feel like it's, okay. you know, right We're trusting right your there. expertise. Right. And that's a relatively inexpensive way. I'm sure there's others as well. I just need to understand. So that's fine. I'll figure that one out. OK. And then I have an issue with your office upstairs, which is where I was going to go. What's that? There's only one light source, so I've looked into giving you sort of skylight windows on each side. Perfect. But the issue is your roof is at the end of its lifetime. I thought it was. I don't know, but see, I feel like we've been playing whack-a-mole at the carnival with this house yeah. for years. This pops up, we smack that down. Then this pops up. We could patch it, but we feel you should really replace it. We're risking it. a leak which will undo so much of what we've just put money into. And any house at a certain point needs a new roof. Well, what kind of costs are we talking yeah. about? We're looking at 20,000. And I which can't means I'm not that. getting something in this house. I mean, I'm not we gonna need fight the need for the roof, but all I'm thinking now is, what am I not getting? I can't absorb $20,000. I think what I would have to do is just we, we would have to do everything we're doing, but not do the kitchen. We're going to have this beautiful home that's upgraded and a kitchen that stands out like a sore thumb. I completely agree with you. It breaks my heart. I can't bear the thought of this kitchen being the way it is. But we could do like a major refresh as opposed to a full on reno. What is a not kitchen reno that is still going to make all this work we're putting into the house not make the kitchen just look like we slapped a coat of paint on it. I wouldn't do that. If okay. I'm talking about a full refresh, mm -hmm. it's going to look fabulous. It will. That hurts. I don't know if we can do it. Now's the time to do it. Or we could leave the roof. It's less than an ideal situation, but we have to have a roof. I mean, that's just a no-brainer to me, and yep. we're willing to invest it. Good decision. Yep. All right, that's the plan. While Hillary struggles to keep everything on Megan's list, David has his own issues trying to find the perfect home. Nice corner lot, um, plenty of space in, out front, and there's also space out back. You nailed it on the lot. I can't believe you found something there, but you got to do better with the master bedroom, particularly the master closet. All right, look at this house. Three-car garage. So what do you think? There is no amount of freshening up we can, we can ever do to get a kitchen like that. All right, what do you think? I like the outside a lot. Very Isn't it nice. beautiful? Yes. It is. The three-car garage. I don't think you can complain about the garage. Stop moving all my stuff. Get out of here. Go. Get that kid in the house. A little over budget. I think it's out of our price range. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the neighborhood. What do you think? A little further out than I wanted to be, but it. I think it's OK, because I'm loving the lot sizes. Well, let's have a look at the house, and then we can decide on location. Sounds okay. good. Let's do it. Let's go. Holy smokes. I know. Isn't this quite this the entryway? This is awesome. Nice. You need an office space, right? Actually, two we office spaces. Two, two office spaces. Yeah, that's right. It's just the right size. Just the right Cozy, size. Cozy, but not too tight. I love it. The main area, you've got the fireplace. You've got the view of the backyard. Oh, wow. And I love these ceilings. 
What do you think of the kitchen? I know there's some brown in it's here. It's like ours. It doesn't feel like ours because everything else is open, it's bright, it's light. Agreed. So you got a screened in porch. And the nice thing about this property is that it backs onto protected lands. Wonderful. How do you like that? Let's go see some more house. Your master bedroom. Holy smokes. Wow. Let's go see the bathroom and then the closet this bedroom comes with. Oh my god. This is very this nice. This is amazing. <laughs> Holy cow. It just keeps going. His and hers. Uh, I'll be taking this out. I would yeah. think so. Yes. I would think so. I figured you'd take both sides. I just might. Yeah. I have something that I think is going to turn the corner around. OK. Yeah. So Jeff, I heard you like to watch golf. I do oh. like to. <laughs> oh huh? I usually just watch Sunday golf, but I think I could watch all four days. So what's Hillary giving you? Not this. This house is listed at $739,000. Just above your budget. Looks good. I love the windows. I love them. It just, it looks so fresh. Oh, Can't I'm wait. so relieved. Can't wait to see the inside. I know, I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Got it? Holy cow. That looks so This is so welcoming. And here you have this it's wonderful beautiful. oversized light, which is what you needed. Yes. And it sets the tone for this being a fabulous house. <laughs> oh, oh my wow. God. <laughs> I have felt like I've spent the last eight years having to try and find places to be me in our house, and I never felt like I had a space that was mine. And this, this is spectacular. Is... How is this just a refresh? It's, it's a, a refresh. huge refresh. All your cabinetry is exactly the same. Right. They've all just been refinished. I love the you... bigger island that well, we have here. It's not just bigger, it's, it's actually it's fixed. fixed. Oh, it's oh, fixed yeah. now. It's all about connection. Everything is cohesive. The design is cohesive, the space works. So now let's go take a look outside. <laughs> so oh my goodness. Yet another place to sit and eat and enjoy. Oh. This is spectacular. Wow. Is it gorgeous? It feels so light and open and I love the deck. It's this great. looks amazing. And then you come in here to your screened in porch with semi-privacy, which we talked about. Oh, my that goodness. I feel like I'm outside, not in a screened-in porch. This is stunning. <gasps> oh, it's so much bigger. Yes. All my shoes, they're going to be so happy. <laughs> they are happy. Oh, this looks absolutely amazing. Let's go on upstairs. Wow. How did that turn into this? I, I do not remember Holy it like cow. this. Oh, oh this wow. is fantastic. It really is. How much light we have in here now. The light is everywhere. These are operable. Oh, really? So you can open them and let the breeze in, which is amazing. Sure. This is incredible. Decision made? Yes. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to list it. Yes. Awesome. You're okay with the stakes being 15 minutes away? Put some time in the area, and uh, it's not too bad out there. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, the house, it, it looks beautiful, but we're still just, we have some limitations here with the other house. We can just see ourselves yeah. growing into so many different stages of life um, and really just being there as a family.